Um, this week, we are talking about actually two uh, dis distinct subjects. The first one we are going to talk about is uh, putting bounds on probabilities when we do not know exactly the distribution in most cases. And under this heading, we will talk about three methods. Um, one is Markov inequality, the other Chebyshev inequality. And lastly, we will talk about chain of bounds. And then we will move to uh, talking about random vectors or vector random variables in which we will discuss joint distributions, marginal distributions, how can we obtain marginal from joint distributions, and conditional distributions. And finally, we will uh, talk about independence uh, when we talk about random variables. Okay, so why do we need uh, bounds on probabilities? Because in real life, we do not always know the distribution of a quantity we would like to analyze. So related events, um, we may not be able to compute exact probabilities, but with some, uh, with some uh, methods, we can put uh, upper bounds on probabilities. Uh, if you have some statistics like the mean value or the variance, uh, you can do this. But it depends on the, the behavior of the distribution and the actual values of uh, the moments and, and the, uh, the probability uh, that you would like to bound. In general, the more you know, that, that means the more, the, the more information you have in terms of statistics, the tighter the bound, but there is no guarantee. So, of course, if you have the distribution, you know everything. You can compute all probabilities, all statistics, everything. But if you do not know the distribution, uh, what, what type of uh, inferences you can make depends on uh, the, the numerical values. And we will see some examples. Let's start with Markov inequality. Um, this is defined for uh, non-negative random variables. Okay, this is important. Sometimes this is forgotten and people sometimes tend to or try to uh, use Markov inequality for general random variables, which is a mistake. You should be careful about when to use Markov inequality. This is valid only for non-negative random variables. And we have, uh, we have a real number that is positive. Uh, and we, we are interested in putting a bond on the probability that uh, our random variable exceeds this value A. Okay, so we do not have the distribution, uh, therefore we, we cannot compute this value, this probability, uh, but we would like to obtain an upper bound on this probability. We start with the definition of the expectation. Now notice the lower bound on the integral is not minus infinity, but zero, uh, because we start with the assumption that the random variable is non-negative which makes sense in a lot of situations. For, us, for instance, uh, waiting times are positive. I don't know, um, for instance, heights uh, are positive. Um, what else? Um, for instance, the amount of rainfall is, is non-negative wherever you, you measure it. So there are a lot of quantities uh, which make sense to assume non-negative. So this, uh, this is useful in, in, in a lot of scenarios. So. First thing to notice is this, the lower bound on the integral is zero. Um, and then if you shift this lower bound to A, so let's, let's uh, assume you have some PDF here. Well, of course here uh, it should be zero because uh, the random variable is not negative, but here you have some sort of a PDF. Uh, the, the shape doesn't really matter in this case. Um, you're computing the, in, this integral and X in this region, of course, is positive and the PDF is naturally positive. So the product of the two is positive. Therefore, if you, well, you're computing then the, the product of this with Y equals X, this function. So you get something like this function that is, well, tend to increase. Uh, you're trying to get the area under this product. Okay, so starting from zero, uh, if you compute this, you get the expected value. But if you shift it to A, the lower limit to A, of course, that means you are sacrificing some area here, right? Therefore, 
I have this greater than or equal to sign here. The expected value of the random variable x is greater than or equal to this integral, starting not from zero, but from a, okay? Then secondly, instead of this x here, if I replace it with a, look, after a, x is increasing, of course, this is x, let's say, and this is a, right? For any x value, a, well, a is a, it's, it's a constant number. So if I replace x by a, I'm sacrificing this area here, okay? Right, so I, I make this integral even smaller. And so this greater than or equal to sign here uh, is valid. But look what this is. A is a constant, so I can take it out of, uh, out of the integral. A times the integral from A to infinity, the PDF. And clearly this integral here is the probability that X exceeds A the very probability that I would like to obtain some bound on. So this is what I get. Expected value of X is greater than or equal to A times this probability. So if you arrange it, you get what we call the mark of inequality, uh, the probability of X exceeding a value A, which is positive, is bounded by the ratio of the expected value to A.